How's it going everyone? Today you're going to learn how to show and hide a password inside an input field using jQuery. And this is something we already did inside the JavaScript course only a few days ago, but because I had people request how to do it in jQuery, we're going to go ahead and do that in this episode here. Now, one thing I want to mention is that in most typical cases when it comes to creating something using JavaScript and something using jQuery, if you have a huge script, then you will be able to tell a noticeable difference between using JavaScript versus jQuery. Now, because this episode here is going to be a very short tutorial with very little code, you're not really going to see that big of a difference between JavaScript and jQuery. But again, we're just going to go ahead and do it so you guys can see the differences here. So as you can see in front of me here, I do have a index page and I have a main.js page. And what I want to do here is I would like to take this form that I have inside my uh, index page. And I would like to do something when I click a button inside the form, which is going to be to show or hide a password input type. So as you can see inside the form, we have an input, which is going to be the username. Then we have a password input, which is set to password as a type. And this is the one we want to change when we do actually click a button inside this login form. Now I did also went ahead and gave it an ID set to view password login, because when we do actually need to create the JavaScript or jQuery code, we need to be able to grab this input and do something to it. So the ID here is going to be so that we can actually grab it and do something. Okay. Now, as you can also see, I did also include a button down here, which is not the login submit button. This is just a regular button that has a unclick event inside of it as an attribute, meaning that when we do actually click this button, we tell it to go ahead and run this function here inside JavaScript or jQuery. Another thing I want to point out here is that I also set a type to button because if you don't do this, then it's going to see this button as a submit button when we click it. So in order to avoid that, we're just going to go ahead and set a type to button. Now, as you can see, I also included some text called view and hide inside the button. So we can actually see that we can actually view and hide the password when we click this button. Okay. Now I did also neglect to you know, include an action and a method and a submit type inside the button down here. But that's because we don't really need to actually do something with this form. A again, if you had a real example on a real website with a login system, then of course, you need to include these things. But because we just want to focus on showing and hiding a password inside a form, we're just going to go ahead and focus on these two inputs here. Okay. Now inside my main.js file, actually, let's actually go ahead and take our JavaScript file and put it at the bottom to make sure we load it after we loaded the entire website. And we're also going to go ahead and go in and get the jQuery code because I haven't done that yet. So I'm just going to really quickly go into jQuery.com and I'm going to go ahead and get the CDN version of it because it is faster and easier. Copy it and paste it in right on top of my JavaScript code because we need to load it before the JavaScript code. Okay, so now we're ready to go inside our main.js file. And as you can see, I do already have some code in here. This is actually what we did inside the JavaScript tutorial. And I would like to spend just a few seconds explain what exactly is going on here. So the first thing I'm going to notice is that we do actually have a variable at the top here called let. Now let and const in case you didn't know, are two new types of variables that we have inside JavaScript. And if you're a little bit confused about what exactly the differences are, then I do have a tutorial inside my JavaScript course, and I'm going to go and link to it in the description, if you want to know the specific differences. So you can go and check that video out if you want to. For now, just know that this is a variable that has a name as view login password. And I set it as a Boolean type to false, meaning that right now we're actually checking if we already click the button or not, because we need to actually know if we already have the password showing inside the input, or if it's set to password type, meaning that we see these dots instead of the actual password. So if we were to go inside this little test version here, you can actually see when I type something, we get these dots instead of the actual text. Okay. Inside our JavaScript code, you can also see we have a function, which is the one that we activate once we do actually click this button inside the index page. And inside this function, what we have is a, another variable called let get password view which simply goes in and grabs the input using the ID that I applied to it inside the index page. And again, this is JavaScript code. So in jQuery, we'd actually change this. So instead of saying document dot get element by ID or query selector, which is the new version of selecting elements inside JavaScript, we can go ahead and say we want to say dollar sign and then change the name inside the string to ID view password login, which again is shorter, 
but not really that different from the JavaScript version. Now if we were to go down inside the next part here where we have an if else if statement that basically just goes in and checks if we did already click the button or not using this variable created at the top here. So if we load this function and we haven't clicked the button yet, meaning that view login password is going to be equal to false, then it's going to go ahead and grab the input, which we set up here and set a new attribute for it called something else. Now in jQuery, we do actually have something else we can use instead of set attribute. So what I could say is a TTR, which stands for attribute, and then do the exact same thing inside the parameters of the parentheses here. So basically what we're doing here is we say we have a attribute called type, and I want to change it into a text type. Okay, so we're taking an attribute and changing the value of the attribute. Then afterwards, we want to set the view login password to true, meaning that the next time I run this function, it's not going to run this if statement because your login password is going to be equal to true. Instead, it's going to jump down to the next one and load this one instead. And this one says, if you login password is equal to true, then do this down here instead. And then we just go ahead and change it back to a password type using, again, the attribute function we have inside TA query. So we're going to say ATTR type and set it to password. And again, we want to change the view login password boolean to false. So the next time it's going to run the if statement instead. So if we were to go ahead and save this, and then go ahead and run what we did here inside the browser. You guys can actually see when I start typing something right now it's hidden. If I click the view hide password, you can see we can now see the password. And again, if I click it, it's going to change it back to hidden. So this is how we can create a show hide password input using jQuery. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. I'd like to say thank you to all the people supporting me on Patreon. If you're interested in extra benefits such as lesson materials, then go ahead and visit the link that you see on screen here, and I'll see you guys next time.